And I don't know if this is going to be a review or more like a PSE, a public service announcement, uh, because Winter, the relationship coach, she got got. The relationship coach got got. And that other woman on the show, I forget her name already. Um, what she was pointing out was that you got got. And yes, that man lied. Cat daddy, 60-year-old cat daddy with the 40-year-old woman lied. Uh, he got you. And what she was saying was, why can't you admit that too? Uh, tell us about the lies he told you, but also you need to admit how you got got. And let me tell you why that's important. Because if you always point fingers this way and you never look at what you could have done differently, then you don't learn no lessons. And that's why it's important for her, that winter woman to stop telling the story just about how that man uh, got her and not about how did she become vulnerable to get got. I suspect the reason why she got got was because if she's a relationship coach, she probably felt bad being out here in the world, giving relationship advice, and she wasn't in one or she wasn't married. Maybe she felt pressure, okay, to just go ahead and get married real fast after her first divorce. I don't know, so that she could still have some, I, I don't know, uh, credibility. But I'm not a type of person where I think you have to be that person to give advice especially when it, be, when it comes to dating and relationships and, and everything else, because there are a lot of phases of relationships. There's the part where you learn how to attract a person or attract your mate. There's a part where you learn how to go from dating to marriage. There's a part where you have to learn how to sustain a marriage, sustain a relationship. There are various parts. And typically what you find is people aren't good at all, all the parts of the whole process. Some women are good at, at catching men or getting men or attracting men, but they're not good at re, uh, maintaining relationships. Some women are not good at learning how to attract a man, but they would be excellent in relationships. So typically people have problems in various parts of their, uh, various parts in their whole relationship scale. Uh, but what Miss Relationship Coach uh, Winter has proven is there's also a part of the relationship process where it's called vetting the man, and she absolutely failed at that part. Absolutely. I'm with that other woman. It uh, doesn't mean she can't be good at relationships, but the vetting process, uh, she didn't do what she needed to do. So I'm going to fill in the gaps because I'm older than winter. And I'm going to tell you that that trick of um, I take care of my parents is one of the oldest lies in the book that a lot of men use out here on the street. So women, uh, let me give you a public service announcement. When you hear a man and he's living at home and he tells you, uh, I live with my parents, but I take care of my parents, you better ask some follow-up questions. One, you better do what that woman told Winter she should have done. You better go to the house and figure out uh, which bedroom is he in. Is he in the master bedroom or is he in some side bedroom? Because that right there will tell you who's in charge. If you down in the basement or you in the side bedroom and the parents is in the master bedroom with an attached master bath, uh, that means they're paying the majority of the bill. Uh, second question, who's on the mortgage? Are you on the mortgage and your parents are paying you rent or is it their mortgage and you giving the parents some money? Uh, that'll tell you the other thing. Who's pay who's, whose name are the utilities in? Are the utilities in your name or the utilities in your parents' name and you just giving some money towards the utilities? That'll tell you something else. You also need to be running background checks on people. You shouldn't just be accepting people's words out here. It only costs $30, $35 to run a background check on somebody. Uh, you need to run background checks on people before you marry them. You want to know if they have a criminal history, been in prison. You also want to know uh, if they married. Uh, a lot of men out here are getting married before they even got divorced from the first uh, wife. Yeah, that's what's going on out here. I've met plenty of women who got married and didn't realize that the last um, relationship that man was in, he not even officially divorced. It happens. Run your background checks, ladies. You also need to run a credit check, okay? Run a credit check. Credit Karma is free. Run a credit check. You need to know what type of financial entanglements uh, your future spouse is in because you know what? You could be taking that on. You need to find out if they owe IRS money, student loan debt, anything. Run a credit check. It's free. This should be standard practice these days for both men and women. Okay, get an STD test, an AIDS test. Y'all should be getting a full panel, blood panels. You need to know, is your man bringing in a disease, herpes, diseases that don't go away, AIDS? You shouldn't be just taking people's words for it out here anymore. I get a full blood test panel, ladies. Prenuptial agreement. If you, this is your second marriage or your third marriage, I don't care what it is. Um, if you coming into the relationship with some assets, both men and women, you need a prenup agreement. This is standard practice, not just to protect yourself, but to protect your heirs. If you come into a second marriage and you got kids, and let's say you owned a house, 
You should be having a prenuptial agreement so that you protect that original house for your heirs. OK, you don't want your original house that you bought without this new man to get wrapped up into a new marriage. And now some of his kids can come in and take from your kids and have access to that house. A lot of people, what they do here is they're not getting married at all. They're saying, well, he ain't got a house and I got a house. That's ridiculous. If you find somebody you love and you want to marry, get married. There's enough uh, laws, procedures and paperwork that can take care of all these other risks. But you got to be willing to do the work. You got to be able to run. A, you got to be willing to run a background check. You got to be willing to get a credit check, get a blood panel test, test for diseases. Uh, go find out where the man lives. Make sure you do that um, and uh, get a prenup. This stuff is simple. So our relationship advisor, Winter, you failed in the vetting process, but no problem. I'm going to pick up the slack for you here in this video. So maybe you just show this video to all your customers since you don't know how to vet no man when it comes to certain things. And then you can handle the rest of the relationship, maybe how to attract the man, how to keep a man, how to act in a relationship. That's good. But you need some help in the vetting process. So I'm here to help you out. That's it, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.